Oh yeah. Here's a nerd collection I'm proud of. My Virtual Boy collection. And sadly, this is another underrated video game console that only lasted for about a year. But the funny thing is, this is a Nintendo console and you don't expect Nintendo to fail. But yep, that's what happened. <laughs> the world just wasn't ready for a uh, all red <laughs> virtual reality awkward setup <laughs> like the Virtual Boy. So. But there were only 14 games released here in North America and 19 over in Japan. And the cool thing is, I got all 14 games right here. Three loose. Now it is possible to get some of these in the boxes, but yeah, I think Mario Tennis and Jaipers are especially difficult to find in the box. Yeah, on eBay, I think I seen yeah, Jack Brothers go for like $90, and that was just for the bots, not for the actual game. I hate to see what the actual game and instructions go for. So yeah, that could be around right the future. Just let you know, insurance companies, <laughs> if I lose that game, boom, I want that one reimbursed. And I also got some Japanese games here. I had the Japanese version of Vertical Force, Interesting Shooter, B Tetris, which actually is different from... 3D touches down there. Yeah, I think Capmo Baseball. Yeah, I think that's 195. There was no 96. Yeah, and here's the Japanese version of Jack Brothers, which is virtually identical except, yeah, all the dialogue is spoken in Japanese. So, yeah, definitely get the North American version if you want to understand the story. And another important thing about the Virtual Boy. Yeah, get yourself an AC adapter. There were, yeah, I think only a few released. One by Nintendo and one here by Performance. <laughs> yeah, that was cheap back in the day. I don't know how cheap it is now. Yeah, especially getting all the parts for the system that <laughs> really didn't have a lot of parts to begin with. Yeah, Nintendo didn't have a lot of faith in the system and Sadly, once you play it, you can understand why, but still, <laughs> it's a very unique 3D experience. If you're a game collector, boom, this is like going to be your pride and joy. Let's just say that. Yeah, I figured I'd show that off because this is a great showpiece in my collection. All right, over and up. Yeah, this is Ryan and all that. Yeah, it's made. 12, I believe, 2010. All right.